Hey Pyromancers, Andrew, Day 2 Dryden, recording for Day 2 MTG, the place for all your burn content needs. Well, maybe not all of it. Haven't done Popper, haven't done Legacy, probably won't do Standard on this channel. But I do intend to do Legacy pretty soon and then maybe move on to Popper from there. Uh, but if you're into the modern format, this is 100% the place to be and the place to subscribe. Don't forget that deck lists and cyborg guides go up at least once a month and they are available without a paywall, absolutely for free, on my Patreon page, can be found in the description below. So, uh, this hand is obviously garbage. No lands, can't play anything. Mulligan. Uh, this hand is much better. I'm gonna try to do my best this round to not make, not only any misplays, not any misclicks. I've made a couple misclicks in the last couple of rounds, and it's luckily we've been able to get through them. This hand's keep. I'm gonna get rid of the Bone Crusher Giant. Um, it's almost like it's two spells, but I, and I don't know if I want two copies of it. I don't know what we're up against, but I'm okay having like a turn one bolt into a turn two bone crusher. As far as six card hands go, this is pretty good. Oh, what the heck is this? We have against Storm again? That's what this looks like. All right. It's been a while since I've had to play against Storm even sort of once. And uh, now here we go uh, twice. I am going to pass the turn. This doesn't make sense to cast my bolt at sorcery speed. Come on, Andrew. Let's actually think this through. I will, however, cast it at instant speed. You gonna remand this? Okay. Okay again. That's a good draw. So if this is Storm, I don't like their odds of being able to fight through two bolts and a Bone Crusher Giant. This could, this might not be Storm though. Uh, with the, I mean, they'll play a couple, maybe one or two main deck remands. But they could very easily be um, uh, like a blue, like this could be blue moon or something still. Nope. Storm. Okay, well, let's get the expensive clunky removal spell out of our hand, I guess. And I guess we just pass the turn. I'm expecting another mana creature to come out since they knew we had a bolt in our hand already, but yeah, like why would you reman the bolt? That's how I'm going to keep you from winning the game. Well, whatever. That's nice to see because so how does this work now? They can make red mana, they can they could play they could do something like gifts ungiven here at end of turn. They absolutely could. Nope. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, sure. That's a good draw. That is a good draw. I really want to be able to cast this Bone Crusher Giant, but I don't want them to just, like, combo off and win. This is never going to... Yeah, this is never going to be easy to get out. Let's put it that way. Um, and it's going to create a huge clock. So I think that if I get it out this turn, I can pretty much coast uh, in a very controlling manner the rest of the game. And uh, I mean, otherwise, I mean, what are the other options? I guess I could have gone Lava Spike, hold up all three other of these spells, but already gone through two of their mana accelerating creatures. If someone didn't play the Bone Crusher there, I wouldn't I wouldn't be too hard on them. But um Did they play a land this turn? They have not played a land this turn. Uh okay then that's fine. <laughs> I 
say if they played a land and then tried to play a spell for a reduced cost, that's when I would be like, no, no, no. No, 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 no. So, uh, yeah, let's just get rid of this thing. <sighs> We're just drawing super well. Super well. You gonna block? Okay. Oh, I should have given it double strike. Oh, that would have been sick. Ah! It's the first time I've played a league with this card, so I'm not used to the... Uh, I'm not used to the lines of play as much. Yeah, I've gone through, what, four of their creatures now? Okay, how much damage do I have in my hand? Does it make sense? Do I, do I just win next turn if I cast this Lava Spike now? This goes to 11. And then this puts them to 7. And then that's 7. Okay. You have another creature? Didn't think so. At least not yet. Oh, maybe. They could still have one. This doesn't get... The cost of this doesn't get reduced. Oh, I like it. I like it. That was a pretty ridiculous, pretty, pretty ridiculous draw. I don't know if our opponent could have sequenced their spells a little bit better, but it's very possible that, um, it's very possible that there was like no way for them to win that game. <laughs> wow. Okay, cool. Well, I haven't played against Storm for forever, so now I've gotten two matches in, um, allowing me to, One Christian Giant was great there. It's actually really... Oh man, that's so frustrating that I missed the uh, the Boros Charm double strike play. Or actually, I guess, would it be different? Oh yeah, it wouldn't be any different, would it? It'd be four damage or four damage. Oh yeah, okay. So yeah, I, I can... I don't have to get uh, upset with myself about that. Uh, Skull Cracks come out. Uh, we like Searing Blaze. We like... I think I had all three paths, but maybe that's wrong. I don't love Rift Bolt. So this looks pretty much the way I had it, I think. Yeah. Wait, where's the... Oh, nope, sorry, rest in peace. I was like, wait, 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 oop, I missed something. Okay, so yeah, there's two more cards in here than I wanted. How did I do this? I should look up the video from last game to know how I did because I liked what I did last game. I can take out a Boros Charm. I can take out a Lava Spike. Something like that, I think. I'll double check. This is why I need to make a sideboard guide so I can just sort of know what I want to do. Uh, this hand's great. It would be nice if I had a rest in peace or something, but a turn one guide into a searing blaze is fantastic. Oh, and they have to pay life for their spells? Yeah, that's also something I'm a big fan of. That's also something I very much enjoy. Storm's scary, though. Storm... Oh, yeah, there's the Empty the Warrens. Okay. Yeah, so that's the plan. It sucks that we don't have a, an answer to that that plan. Um, oh, wow. Okay, I'm really glad I have... Ah, okay, so I really want to be able to answer a, a Baral or an Electromancer with a Searing Blaze next turn. But I would also really, really like to be able to just go like Goblin Guy. You know what? Here, they're... they're gonna probably make goblins at some point i can probably get away with just holding up a single lightning bolt and getting in with um double goblin guide that's probably more damage over the long run here and after the next turn then i can hold up both of those things that sounds pretty great sounds pretty great Love it. And then the turn after that, we can think about maybe uh, suspending a Rift Bolt or something. Sure. See, okay, here's how this goes. For anyone who hasn't played this magic board, this is how this goes. Okay, they play this creature. 
then they tap out, okay? They can't do anything right now. They've got no access to mana. I'm gonna make it so they have access to nothing except these three red mana. While this is still in the stack, this is when I'm going to bolt this creature. I have You have to wait for them to tap their, la their third mana. If you do it when this resolves, and then they've got access, they can like remand it for once, uh, for just one mana. And they I mean they can still do something here maybe, right? This, it could, but that's the easiest way to get something out, right? Like, see here, they could play another Brawl and they could just go crazy. Or an Electromancer. That's, like, totally an option. But, right? Like, see, they could have gone Mana Morphos, then they've got three mana in their pool. Then they play an Electromancer or a Brawl. Now they've got one red floating, and now they can, like, go Desperate Ritual, Pyretic Ritual, something like that. But that's how you... The, that's how you can best play around a turn three creature like that. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. It's tough. Uh, you need instant speed interaction, right? These rift bolts and secure the critics, they don't they don't work like that, unfortunately. Uh, we are going to suspend a rift bolt though because we, we still want to win this game. We don't want to give them too many more turns to just draw into whatever they want to draw into. Because they're hitting land drops. Really? Okay, so let's say the Rift Bolt comes off. They go to eight. Six. That's lethal. Uh, not the biggest fan of this. Because I do want to hit my land drops. Or I do want to... Uh, I do want to have landfall when I eventually want this, but... I mean, if they don't have a counter spell, then I think we just got it. That's pretty good, too. At this low life total, even just a non landfall searing blaze is pretty fantastic. All right, let's see. Did we manage to go 4 1 here, or do we play on? What happens? I do a drum roll, but it's going to sound horrible on the microphone. Air drum roll. Hey! Awesome! Whew! Oh, a 4-1 finish is really nice after a couple weeks of subpar finishes. And aside from some misclicks, I don't know if there were... I don't think there were very many misplays, fortunately, which is also kind of nice. I'm trying to collect myself a little bit more. I try to be a little bit more composed in front of the camera for folks like yourself. So that's been our league. Um... Storm, I was not expecting, but at the same time, that's why it's one of the decks. Why you know, um, you, uh, you've got rest in peace, and you know what? Here, I'm gonna open up, I'll open up one treasure chest, and then we'll talk about the deck and the decks that we played. Uh, so if you're not interested in sort of a revisiting about that or building sideboards or whatever, hope you have a great rest of your day. It's been nice having you here as part of the uh, the YouTube day two community. Um, and I uh, hope to see you again. But for everyone else, we're going to open up a chest and we're going to talk about uh, the deck list today. Okay, so here we go. This is our deck list and this is the treasure chest here. So let's do this. Let's open up one of these here. Let's see how this went. What do we got? What do we got? Uh, I don't think that's anything. Uh, it's 20 play points, so that's pretty good. All right, I am going to use the play points for... Um, making videos on this channel, stuff like that. So that's okay. So we got basically two ticks. Uh, nothing great. Ah, okay, we'll open up one more. One more. One more. Something good? Hey! Ooh! Black leaf cliffs. Ooh. That's it? It's worth 1.38... Well, worth 1.8 ticks at the moment. Lame. And yeah, Golgari Grave Troll. That's... Anything that's banned off the mo anything that's banned in modern is usually not very yeah it's worth a whole 16 cents boo boo all right well that's good enough we're gonna stop there and hey we got the five play points so yeah we basically got like two ticks again and honestly i think sitting on this might be uh, worth my while okay so cool so we went 4 1. We lost to Mono Green Devotion, which is, uh, they had some pretty good rollouts. There wasn't too much I could do about that, I don't think. I haven't rewatched the game, but it's it's possible I might have maybe missequenced mis something. 
Uh, outside of that, a couple of keyboard errors, which could have very easily cost me against, uh, especially against like Neo Brand. Very lucky in that game that they mulliganed to four. So if I was ever going to accidentally, you know, time walk myself, give my opponent a free turn, especially a broken potentially turn one, you know, can win on turn one deck, that's the time to do it when they're down to like four cards in hand. Um, but yeah, overall pretty good league, I think. Uh, pretty solid. But I definitely was impressed by Bone Crusher Giant. I think this again just goes to show how awesome this card would be if it had like full skull crack text with only two damage. It'd be so, so good. Um, it just allows you, if you flood out a little bit um, or you don't draw super well, it's a way to have interactive games anyway because it's almost like two cards wrapped into one. Um, and I mean, it's, it's still like, it's a four, three body is nothing to sneeze at when you're, you know, putting them so low in the first few turns and it just even two damage to the face. Pff, fantastic. We saw a bunch of times where we used it to kill a Baral or kill an Arbor Elf or something like that. It was great. I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of Stonecrusher Giant. Outside of that, Eidolon was great. Pff, I mean, we faced Storm twice. Holy. Um, that was awesome. Searing Blaze, Searing Blaze wasn't great. Um, we so we didn't see Searing Blaze be too great. Uh, it was it was well positioned against Storm. It was well positioned against those Mono Green Devotion decks. If we'd had a good chance for it, if we'd been able to sort of just keep the board clear, I think two copies is probably about right at the moment. Um, I we didn't run into Burn at all, so Searing Blaze and the Lava and the Lightning Helixes trimming on those was okay. I think the one time we saw Shard Volley was when we wanted to see it, sort of as a, as, as a finishing card to finish the game. Um, that's why I only really like, if I do run it, I only like having sort of one copy. Um, there's lots of times when you're sort of, your mana's being taxed, and in the early turns of the game, you know, you, you don't really want to sacrifice your lands. We already have lands that sacrifice themselves for new cards, so I think this kind of effect is a little bit less necessary, but I don't mind running one copy, and, and it... Again, we're, I was trying to focus on a slightly lower curve uh, build of the deck today. So, outside of that, we didn't really need the skull cracks. Um, we didn't run into Tron. Yeah, I was planning on like Burn, Tron, Control, all these, uh, you know, Urza, all these things. And I didn't see any of them, so that's kind of interesting as well. But. Uh, yeah, overall, I, I like I like this sixty. I think this is I think this is good, and I am definitely enjoying the flexibility Stone Crusher Giant adds. In the sideboard, wow, was Leyline of Combustion good, eh? One <laughs> single-handedly won us a game. Um, pretty much closed the door. What it closed the door even harder in that very last game against Storm. Um, yeah, I I really like. I mean, it also helped. We we had it in our opening hand. Like every time we put it in, so I mean, obviously, ley lines are going to be good in those matchups, in those situations. Uh, Path Exile was great. Uh, it was the only way we were able to win one of those games against Neo Brand if we had had access to this. So I think maybe even a fourth copy of this would have been okay. I don't think Rest in Peace did anything for us today, but we did bring it in against Storm, which hey, maybe it's on a bit of a rise again. Uh, still have the skull cracks, the artifact. Hey, yeah, so I mean, everything was just kind of you know. Just kind of, uh, it's, it's just smooth. It, it kind of worked. It wasn't any, you know, okay, we're doing four of these in the main deck. We're doing four of these in the sideboard and these big switches. It's It was kind of more of a, a smoother build between, it was more, it was a more cohesive, I think, 75. And not that you have to build them that way, but um, when you're not sure what to expect, it's probably a better idea. You know, if you know you're going to face Affinity or Jund or something, you'd be like, no, like, for Path to Exile, we're like we're, we're we're you know Death Shadow, you know, or Ad Nauseam. We're like we are like we are absolutely taking out these Searing Blazes, right? Get these out, get these in. It's actually really easy to sideboard in those kind of matches. It's one of the reasons why the sideboard guys take me so much work. But overall, I really like this. I thought this was great. Uh, had a lot of fun playing it today, uh, and had a lot of fun testing out Stone Crusher Giant or Bone sorry, Bone Crusher Giant. The card I tried out in the last league, uh, Hushbringer, was in the sideboard and it never really showed up to any great, great effect. So it was really nice to not only have this show up, but to uh, see it work work so well. So that's uh, sort of my take on the on the league this week. Make sure to uh, put in the description below if you have any questions, comments, uh, uh, 
cards that you're trying out i always love to hear about this kind of stuff oh that's a neat card hadn't heard about that before you know stuff like that so uh overall though really happy to have you here hope you hopefully you enjoyed the match this has been andrew day two dryden make sure to check out the patreon page Follow me on Twitter, all that stuff. Links are in the, uh, should be on the banner along the bottom of the screen and in the description below. Hope you have a great, uh, hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time.